YouTube, what's up? This is a special. I'm actually bringing you the second game I played against this K Flex, and it was actually back to back games. And I've always made a big deal in Madden. Is like this is when I love playing Madden. When you show me what you got, what your offense is, what your reads are, what your progressions are, that's pretty much when I become a better defensive player. When I know what you want to do, you know I can adjust to it, and then I want to see what your counter adjustment is, and how many ways we can go down this, you know, this endless slope of who makes better adjustments, who can, you know, adjust to what you're doing, figure out how to stop it, and how to slow you down. Anybody can pop up one time with something sneaky and, and win a game of Madden, but this is when I've always enjoyed playing Madden. But you see, in the first game, his run was hurting me a little bit, but I, towards the end of the first game, I started knowing if I used that slot corner, I'd be able to contain the run. So that's how I started this game out. Use the slot corner so I can go ahead and try to stop the run. You see her again this time, Clowny, just diamond powered up Clowny, just eats it. Here we go again. This time, he throws a little high ball over there, over to cover two. I was running cover two a lot. So he stepped trying to hit that, and this time Cam Bam comes over there and knocks the ball out. I'm really not worried about that because between Pat Pete and Cam Chancellor, here he goes right in my face. So I'm on that slot DB to try to stop the run. Here we go again, get him to a third and two. Throws it up in the back, tries it for the pass, and incomplete. He bluffed like he was going to go for this, but he went ahead and kicked his field goal, which was smart. Go ahead and get three points on the board. He just came off a loss to me, so you know you got to get your points early, especially on the first drive. You can't come away with zero. So I feel good on offense. I was running a Jets book this game, so I was running split close. And, you know, the more I ran, obviously, if y'all watch me play, I haven't ran much of split close early in the year like this. But by the time I run three, four, or five games of it, I kind of get a lot more comfortable, especially playing against, that time I threw it to the wrong curl, especially playing against fourth down. Now I'm going to throw to the right curl right there, boom. But especially playing against somebody's defense over and over with a different set, I know the adjustments I want to make. So I start playing really well. You know, the, the more this goes on, you know, a lot of people, he, see, he's running Lucas and the contain picks me off. I, this was crazy to me. I, he blitzed that guy. He put him in a contain. As y'all know, the contain blitz is pretty crazy right now. Made a read to throw in the flat that was wide open and the contain picked me off. But like I said, the more you get, the, this guy's a, a cookie cutter player for the most part. There's no crazy adjustments he's making. It's just three through five odd looping the same person, blitzing the left side guy every time. So, you just really start. There's a fumble. Boom, out of bounds. Thank God. The strip fumbles are out of control. You see I'm on the phone here. Still playing. Got a little strip underneath. Up, oh, we fumble again. After that, fellas, you know I've seen enough. I said, you know what? I don't need to juke and spin this game. We're going on conservative. I don't have enough time to be fumbling, especially down 10 nothing. A fumble right now would just kill my chances to win this game. He's already got that fluky pick six with a contain. So, let's not try to give him any more turnovers. We're going to try to pop a little run with McCoy. It's bottled up by Reggie White. I think I need a Reggie White on the, for the Eagles team. Go underneath. We're able to hit the post over the middle of Randy Moss. Come back, hold wide. Come back and get the ball. Once again, hitting the flat. I got Gurley and McCoy in the split close. Two running backs that are really good. That's probably what makes split close really tough is when you start utilizing. Here we go. Making him miss some hit sticks with Tyreek Hill. We're on conservative, so we're not spinning and juking. Just a little wiggle. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you can make him miss a couple hit sticks here and there, especially when they're so aggressive to try to get them fumbles. Big touchdown there to go ahead and, you know, get back in the game. You know, it was looking dark right there. He was getting a fluky. So let's go ahead and slow him down. Here we go. Like I said, I'm on that slot corner instead of the linebacker. Really blowing up that inside zone out of this particular set. It was, you know, we finally get a sack right there. I believe DeMarcus Ware. That's powered up the new legend, DeMarcus Ware. Yeah, I played the sticks on third down here, and he was able to throw throw the wheel route right there to get some yards. Get him to a fourth down. What's he going to do? Everybody's bagged. Everybody's covered. Don't get anything fluky, but Champ Bailey makes the swat right there. Big play by Champ Bailey. Get the ball back for him on fourth down. Once again, hit the flash. you got to make him play hard flats. Got to make him respect the running backs. If you're running split close, it's probably the biggest thing if you want to run split close. You have to make him respect the running backs. Obviously, you got to respect Michael Vick. On conservative there, he didn't fumble for me. Got to get points going in the half. That's pretty much my goal right now. Once again, Michael Vick, skirt, skirt, right by him. Get down. Now we want to use some of the clock so he can't get the ball back. Run with Gurley there. Looks like I could have got in, but just that's one little, one cut a little too much. But he's fighting for me, and Gurley falls and gets into the end zone. Probably put him on aggressive there. That's why you have, like I said, two good running backs. You got full back inside, and you got had the power roll. You mix in McCoy and Gurley. He goes high ball right there. Sean Taylor wasn't having that anyway. Gets over. Like I said, I really wasn't worried about the high ball on cover two. 
Jalen Ramsey. I'm down to make the tackle on the corner on the wheel route. I started manning up his corner route, bang, but Chris Harris was just a little too slow. That's uh, powered up Chris Harris. It's not the diamond Chris Harris, so I made a swipe, a, swipe, a switch after this with Sean Taylor bags right there. And this play is crazy because in the middle of the play, I'm thinking is my is you know Chris Harris going to cover it. I didn't cover it myself when I knew it was the only thing that could beat me, but I literally just allowed him to throw that. That was terrible defense, especially for him to have no timeouts. That was the only play he could have ran and, and kept the game going. But I give up that field goal. That's bad. But like I said, I'm feeling good on offense playing against his 3-3-5. Odd with the split close, mixing in the running backs, mixing in the drags. Come up here. I take a sack. That was a bad setup for me. Try to try to go with too much of a big play. Again, he screams at me. Jeez, I mean, he brought everybody that play. Once again, he's looping. Bang. We're going to hit the drag, third and 18, get half of it back. I actually get, shoot, almost all of it. Get, to, get me to a fourth and four underneath here. I can dump it off to McCoy. Didn't respect them fast enough to go ahead and get those five, six yards on fourth and four. Big play there. It, it takes a lot to do in the flat on fourth and four. Then you, you start you start hitting the flats. They start getting more aggressive, and you can go up top to Randy Moss. Boom, we're 12 and 16 right now. We're feeling good. Flats again. Ty Gurley. Whoop, whoop. You don't need to be on aggressive ball care. You can be on conservative making plays. Especially when they're stripping and hit sticking you crazy. Being on conservative might be my new move from here on out. Able to get in the end zone with Gurley. And of course, you know, if you watch these tapes before, if you watch these game plays, they're, they're going to give them something. They're gonna keep, I got to keep these kids in the game versus me. I mean, it's not going to be easy. Once again, like I said, I'm starting to man up. I took Chris Harris out of that spot, and we get a fumble. Boom. Fletcher Cox picking it up. But I took Chris Harris out of that man up spot. I was actually put a uh, diamond powered up Jalen Ramsey there so he can play a little bit better man coverage on that corner route because that's really the only route I see that he has that's going to get open. Here we go, Ted, <laughs> Ted Hendricks just runs over my running back. So every time I try to get something big, I, I, I take a sack. So we go back here in the flats, get most of that yards back, get me to a third down, go ahead and hit the baby curl there to Odell Beckham. Really putting a lot of stress on his zone coverage if he's going to keep blitzing this many people. Bang, throw it to Beckham. Pitch it. Beckham needs a better block right there, boys. If Beckham gets a better block right there, boom, we could have got a lot of yards. But now we're in the fourth quarter. We're up eight points. A field goal will pretty much seal this game for me. As you see there, I'm still on conservative. Can't spin. Can't juke. But we're not going to fumble the ball. Even on conservative, you're still getting your head blasted off. Here we go. The play I want to run, nothing was there. But I go ahead and slide instead of throwing the ball away just to keep the clock running. This game is cooked. He's down. What's he down now? He's down eight. So now he's down 11 points. Just just over two minutes left in the game. I feel really good. Make them work. Don't give up that corner route. That's pretty much my whole thing. We're stopping the run there. Fletcher Cox making a play. Powered up Fletcher Cox. we got Randy Moss manned up. He hits a slant underneath here. That's fine. Take it to the two-minute warning. The more clock. The clock is my friend right now. He tries to go fade, but Sean Taylor and Patrick Peterson aren't having that. That's the no-fly zone. Just got to guard this running back. He goes over the middle, hits the running back. I went... I guarded the slant there because it was a bigger play for him. Gets him to a third of inches. We're bagging right now. But he scrambles. I think it's Drew Brees is his quarterback. Yeah, Drew Brees. You don't see Drew Brees too often. But here we go. Tries to go up to Moss, and there's the switch right there. Instead of 5'10", Chris Harris, you got 6'2", Jalen Ramsey. Power diamond upgrade. And we're just going to skirt a little bit. Get by everybody, and we're taking this to the Baja. That's how you end the game. That's how you adjust to his offense. Learn how to stop the run. User in the right person is shooting the right gap. Learn that his only dot was the corner route. So I learned to go ahead and put my best corner and man coverage on that corner route, and that would be able to slow it down. So like I said, this is really something that I love doing in Madden is playing somebody over and over because you get an idea of what they're thinking offensively. It's not just, oh, he got me one play. You know, they're, they're, you know, it's nothing that's going to surprise you because you know what's coming and you're learning how to shut it down and you're learning what call he wants to go to in certain situations in the game. And like I said, that's pretty much when I love playing, man. The more and more you play the same person, the better it gets and, and the better the thinking game gets. Listen, if you want to watch some of these games live, my Twitch link is in the description. Please hit the sub. Please like the video. When I get to 200, I'm going to post another video, another gameplay video. And said, also comment on what more you'd like to see from me on YouTube. The YouTube is really growing. It's something that I want to continue to grow. But, I mean, obviously the gameplay videos are doing pretty well. I, I think you guys like when I break down a lot of this stuff. So it's going to be something that I continue to do. And, and, you know, the more and more you can think about the game, even when you're not playing it, the better you'll get You'll get it mad. And like I said, I know obviously you guys probably play your friends over and over. And you know what they want to do. You know their go-to money plays. No matter what level it's at, whether you're, you know, 
playing somebody down the street or you know you're playing in the MCS you know, once you learn somebody's tendencies it makes man more fun and it makes them have to get better because they have to switch it up you know and that's what I like so I said hit the like sub comment all that good stuff anything you see ran here offense defense special teams check out man surf the, the link is below give you the opportunity to check out some of the offenses and defenses that I run and many other people run the premium membership is definitely the move. $75 for all year is definitely a steal. You're going to get probably 10 ebooks for that. All right, I appreciate it, man. Y'all keep hit, keep following the channel. We're going to drop way more stuff for y'all. Dude!